What's up, Facebook? This is my next rant on this Colorado shooting scumbag. And I just got off YouTube looking at a bunch of other uh, videos. So this is my uh, spin on the subject. Uh, let's get the information out there because I've heard several stories. This is the information I have. It's very general. 23, uh, the su uh, suspect was 23 years old. He was a doctorate candidate. Uh, I guess he, he threw gas or smoke. I would assume smoke, considering uh, he threw gas, most people wouldn't have been able to run out. They would have been bouncing off the walls, uh, blinded and snotting on themselves. Uh, he killed 12 people, wounded 52. Weapon systems he used were the AR-15. He had a shotgun and he had a handgun. He was wearing tactical gear and body armor. Now, I've been up listening to various sites, so on and so forth, and uh, some of the arguments I've heard, because I'm a firm believer that if uh, at least four people, and I'll get to them later, had a firearm, uh, things would have been different. Uh, some of the arguments I've heard, oh, great, more gun owners uh, shooting blindly in the dark. Uh, another one, oh, there was gas. Uh, he was wearing body armor, and uh, he was wearing smoke, or there was smoke confusion. Uh, my arguments were, uh, I put up our uh, one, what do you got to lose? He killed 12 people. What do you got to lose? You might as well go for broke and put some rounds down range. Uh, I've heard ban guns or, or ban assault weapons. I've heard ban guns. I've heard ban assault weapons. I've heard uh, education. And I'll be addressing uh, uh, the first one was uh, smoke, confusion, and gas. And it was dark. Okay, first of all, there were. You know what? I'm going I'm to skip that. Okay. Those are the arguments I've heard. Uh, first of all, I want to talk to you about uh, why banning guns is a joke. If you ban guns, you only ban them from the people who care, the law-abiding citizens. Um, which means only the bad guys have them. Now, I'd be more than happy if we went all, the whole race went back to swords. Uh, I'm trained with a sword, which gives me an advantage. But that's not going to happen. Uh, When they take them away from the bad guys, I'll give you all my guns. Every last, all 11 of them you can have. Less cleaning for me. Uh, Gun-free zones are stupid. I'm a bad guy. I've got a plan. Where am I going to go? Am I going to walk into a police station? Am I going to walk into a gun range? Of course not. I'm going to walk into a gun-free zone that has a nice sign posted in the front that says, No guns allowed. Why? I'm not going to get shot. As far as civilians with uh, firearms, I think we need the, the level of training kicked up above what the NRA uh, gives out. I could take a five-hour course, go in front of a judge, I've got a pistol permit. In the military, we don't go to the range in basic training. It takes two weeks of training for us to even get ready to go to the range. All right. Uh, to address the, uh, there were four combat veterans in there. They'd been to Iraq, been to Afghanistan, um, and they were trained with weapons, pistols, rifles, even machine guns. They would have had a better chance than just laying there, throwing themselves in front of their loved ones and dying. So at least they should have had a firearm. Okay, now I want to get into my background. All right, I'm retired. Uh, I spent 23 years in the military. Uh, I have two combat tours, one in Afghanistan, one in Iraq. I have one tour in a counterterrorism working with law enforcement. Uh, the weapons I've trained with, from basic training on up to when I retired. The M1911A1, 45 caliber. M9 Beretta, 92F. 
Sig Sauer P228 uh, German sidearm, M16A1, M16A2, M4A1, G38 assault rifle, M14, M500, other words a Mossberg 500 shotgun, the M249 saw, the M240 machine gun, the M60 machine gun, the M3 grease gun, the M2 50 caliber heavy barrel machine gun, the Mark 19 uh, grenade launcher, uh, the M203 grenade launcher, and the M68 105 millimeter tank cannon. I'm also highly trained in infantry tactics. I'm a certified master firearms instructor. I'm a combat shooting instructor. I'm an executive protection instructor, a certified private investigator, a certified gunsmith, and a certified martial arts instructor in Kempo Karate. Now we'll, we'll address the illusions of the sheep out there. Uh, they believe, for whatever reason, banning guns will save lives. There's no way you could take every gun out of everyone's hands, physically, period. We've been trying it with drugs. didn't work. Immigration. We've been trying to enforce immigration laws. What do we have? Four million illegal immigrants in the country? Working real great, huh? Uh, <clears throat> violence is never the answer. Uh, every time you say that, I want you to think of three people. Martin Luther King. Gandhi. John Lennon. Where are they? All dead. Why? They didn't use violence to defend themselves. Violence is not the only answer, but sometimes, uh, sometimes it's the only answer that's going to save your life. Okay, I've heard. Uh, matter of fact, I believe it was this morning. I got the the answer. Well, more education. We need, uh, education is the answer, not guns or not violence. We don't. We, if everybody were educated, we wouldn't need violence. Okay, education. That was uh, something this morning. Well, let's look at education. Let's look at our latest uh, Nimrod with a gun. He's a doctorate candidate. Sounds pretty educated to me. Um, some have told me that uh, we wouldn't have been able to stop him because he was using gas or smoke. Uh, I've been in 11 separate engagements, firefights. 11. Uh, you don't think that doesn't happen on the battlefield? Confusion, smoke, noises. RPGs make a whole lot of noise. Uh, so does an AK-47, which is fully automatic, by the way. Uh, our, uh, PPKs, which is a belt-fed machine gun, they have a lot of those. You don't think they make a lot of noise? Uh, a couple people have mentioned he was wearing tactical gear. Ooh, I've got tactical gear over there. It doesn't give you the, uh, some miraculous tactical knowledge. Matter of fact, he was using a AR-15, which puts out uh, about 75 rounds per minute. He was able to shoot, fatally shoot 12 people, which basically tells me he sucked. Okay. The only reason they died is they let him get close enough to do it, and they didn't have a gun. Body armor. Some people seem to think this is the end-all, be-all in... Uh, protection. Well, body armor were uh, the 4,000 plus that died in Iraq and Afghanistan. They all had body armor and they're all dead. So I guess body armor isn't the end-all be-all in personal protection, is it? I own body armor and uh, does it add to my chances of survival? Of course it does. Is it going to stop anybody from blowing my head off or blowing, you know, destroying my pelvis with a good 40 caliber round? Blowing my knee out? No. Hell, a knife could have taken him out. There were 80 people in that theater. While he's shooting at one, and, you know, a knife, a gun will kill 79% of the time. A gun will kill 85% of the time. And correction, a knife will kill 85% of the time. Think about it, folks. Let's quit being frickin' sheep. Someone comes comes at you with a with a weapon, Get a carry permit. Shoot him in the face. Let's quit being sheep, folks. Let's not, you know, violence never solved anything, except for the Holocaust, communism. Uh, seems to me it's solved quite a bit. I mean, ask uh, Osama bin Laden. 
And there's my next, uh, that's the end of this rant. I'm sure I'll think of something later on. Uh,